What is up, you guys? Just, um, reading Psalms chapter 17. Four ninety six, five seventy five. The stupid me, there's a bookmark. Psalms chapter 17, verse uh, 17 through chapter 18. Let's do two this morning. Prayer with confidence in final salvation. A prayer of David. Here is just is a just cause, O Lord. Attend to my cry. Give ear to my prayer, which is not from the deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from your presence. Let your eyes look on the things that are upright. By the way, I'm going to keep saying it, you guys. I don't feel any conviction from the Holy Spirit whatsoever to not wear this skull ring from the Great Frog of London jewelry store. Um, it's a, it was an early birthday, uh, birthday present. Um, my birthday is not until November 13th. But I just got this last week. Um, my parents got it, got it for me um, that I I wanted, and it's it's special to me because they let me get it for uh, they they bought it for me for uh, my an early birthday present, like way early, but still. Um, and God created us with skulls, so the 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 representation the yeah representation or the meaning of skull jewelry is death but that's not a bad thing it's a reminder that we're not immortal um it reminds me that I'll die and once I do die I will be with Jesus and God in heaven that's all I see when I wear this all I see is it's a skull like like in my head and hey I'll I'll die someday and when I do I'm I'll be with God with Jesus and my Kirito uh my rats my pet babies um that I miss I miss them so so please no no bad com- uh comments or anything like that with about this cuz in my I I'm not doing anything wrong you know You have tested my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me and have found nothing. I have purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips, I have kept away from the the paths of the destroyer. Uphold my steps in your paths, that my footsteps may not slip. I have have called upon you, for you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me. And I hear my speech. Show me, or show, show your marvelous loving kindness by your right hand. O oh, you who save those who trust in you from those who rise up against them, keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing from the wicked who oppress me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed up their their fat hearts with their mouths they speak proudly they have now surrounded us in our steps they have set their eyes crouching down to the earth as a lion is eager to tear tear his prayer pray and like a lion and like a young lion lurking in secret places arise O lord confront him cast him down deliver my life from the wicked with your sword 
with your hand from men, O Lord, from men of the world who have their portion in this life and whose belly you will fill with your hidden treasure. They are satisfied with, with children and leave the rest of their possession for their babes. Their babes? As for me, I will, I will see your face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I w- awake in your likeness. These are some strong words. Psalm 18, this is the last one, because, uh, you know, I, I'm not talking right because I'm getting sleepy. God, the surveying Savior... To the uh, to the chief musician, 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 a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spoke to the Lord, the lords of the song, on the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, "I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Deliverer, my God, my strength." In whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Amen, Lord Jesus. You are worthy. So shall I be saved from my enemies. You know, there's kings and lords in this world that are humans. There's lords, there's kings in this world on this earth right now. But... The only king and the only Lord that I will that I will worship, that I will praise, that I will bow and kneel before is Jesus Christ Himself, God Almighty. He is the only one who is worthy to be praised, worshipped, uh, uh, kneeled before, bowed down to. He is my King. My Savior, my God. The pangs of death surrounded me and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple and my cry came before him, even to his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils. You know, and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down with darkness under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his his secret place, his uh, canopy around him. You know, guys, I'm I'm just going to stop here. Psalm 18 through 12, verse 12, because I can't talk right and I, I'm, I'm getting bothered at myself that I, um, I'm just stuttering, and you know. So, uh, I had a rock star energy drink earlier, 240 mg of caffeine, and I'm experiencing what they call the crash right now. It's when you, when the energy drink, I drank several hours ago. It's when it takes away all the energy that I gave to you along with your own energy too. So I'm drained a little bit. Um, And I haven't slept since like 6 p.m. yesterday. And it's... um, It is... 640 in the morning. So I haven't slept in 12 hours and me drinking an energy drink 
makes my mind feel like I haven't slept for even longer. So I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>